Hello there and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. As per the latest update from the Indian Army, JEE mains will be made compulsory for the candidates who are applying for the technical entry scheme in the year of 2021, the next year. This is a very important, authentic news for us to consider regarding what is actually a technical entry scheme and for whom is this entry applicable, who can apply for this important scheme and why has this particular step has been taken into consideration, in what way this particular information is very important for us. Let us go through it in more detail. Before beginning, I would like to tell you that SSB Crack Exams is India's largest, most preferred online defense exams preparation portal. It is one-stop solution for you if you are preparing for NDA, CDS, AFCAP. At INET Territorial Army and Indian Air Force M and Group X and Group Y. You can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram and directly visit us through our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com and download our app from Google Play Store where you can have each and every defense related information, examination related study material and content in your hand at proper amounts of time. If you are following our app, and if you people have already downloaded the app, so this particular information has already been reached to your mobiles by of now. Beginning with the TES stands for the technical entry scheme and this is applicable only for boys who have completed their senior secondary that is 12th class from a science team. That means with the physics, chemistry and mathematics as their background. For those people who have finished their 12th class, that means who have finished their intermediate second year or the senior secondary, the 12th class and they have completed the same course in the physics, chemistry and mathematics as, as their subjects only they are eligible, only those boys are eligible. The duration of the technical entry schemes course would be around 4 years and the type of commission you would get after fulfilling all of the training criteria would be a permanent commission one. So let us understand this in more detail what is actually the eligibility for technical entry scheme in general. Previously or in general even for this year, the TS has these two important eligibility criteria. One is that you should have 70% marks in physics, chemistry and mathematics in your 12th class and this is extremely mandatory and this is applicable up to TS 45 only and that is entries applied in 2020. And the age limit should always be around 16 and a half to 19 and a half years, both years inclusive. Please remember that the dates regarding the age limit will be proposed and the dates will be changed according to the entry. The dates will be different for TS 44, 45 and will be completely different for 46. What is the main news that we have got is that regarding the TS 46, TS 46 is the technical entry scheme, the first technical entry scheme which you can apply in the next year on 2021. And in 2021, this has been made compulsory. The JEE mains exam has been made compulsory for us. And this is a very important one for us to learn and consider. Generally, the joint entrance examination mains is a national level undergraduate entrance examination in India. This exam is to provide admission into various engineering and architecture colleges offered by NITs, IIITs and IITs, the CFTIs and various other private institutions. But as of now, this entry has also been made compulsory. Now, even including the entry into IIITs, NITs and all, JE mains will be also applicable for the technical entry scheme into Indian Army 2. Much more important update also is that the 70% marks has been reduced to 60% marks in the PCM. The cutoff of the 12th class has been reduced to 60% and making JE mains much more compulsory and the age limit will also be same that is 16 and a half to 19 and a half years. This is the official notification picture you can see it here in the official website if you go through joinindianarmy.nic.in there you can get through the notifications and the notification was scrolling on it was splashing like to the online applications for the TS 46 will open on joinindianarmy.nic.in in the month of May or June 2021 that means in the next year, May of June 2021, JEE mains has been made obligatory for the TES 46 course. This is in addition to the criteria of minimum 60% marks in PCM in class 12. This has been made live today. The official notification will be released soon. Now, some people have doubt like when is official notification that is released according to the TES 44 and 45. 
notifications regarding this year that is the 2020 are yet to be declared TS notification is released twice a year that means in the months of May and October it can include May to June or even October to November the notifications will be released in that time slots TS 41 and 42 even you can see there is a always a systematic schedule TS 41 was released on October 2018 42 on May 2019 43 on October 2019 so if we follow the pattern we get TS 44 on the May 2020 and TS 45 on October 2020 and we will get the TS 46 notification on the May of 2020. So all of these dates are those dates where the examination, where the application dates have been released. This is the notification date for us to consider. Even if you cross the cutoff, that means around 60% for the next year and 70% for this year, even then there is a chance only those people who have the minimum cutoff criteria only they will be called upon. The cutoff marks that are mentioned in the notification are the basic obligatory cutoffs. But even after most of the people apply, or among all of those applications, only few will be shortlisted for the SSB. From 2021, the shortlisting of the candidates will be done both by the means of their marks in the intermediate, also plus with the marks which they have got, the rank which they have acquired in the JE mains examination. In TS 43, we can see the 79% was the cutoff percentage. That means the least recommended candidate had a percentage of around 79%. He had got the call letter for the SSB. How to apply for the TS 46, 44 and 45 entries, sir? The, you have to log in towards the joinindianarmy.nic.in website, wherein which you can, you can have the officer's entry. You can go there and directly apply. Once you go there, you have to enter your login credentials there you have to log in with your login id and password enter the captcha and go through the course where in which down you will get an option to click on the tes course and then you will be directly gone through the notifications website where in which you find all of the detailed instructions on how to apply what all things you should have the prerequisites before you apply for the application Getting to the selection procedure, how will this be done? The shortlisted candidates will be called for the SSB interview at Bhopal, Bangalore or Allahabad. These three centers will be those centers which will be dealing with the technical entry schemes. SSB interview will be conducted for five days. Those getting recommended in the SSB interview will have the medical testing lasting from three to five days. Those also who have got recommended through medical testing and if their name gets into the merit list those merit in candidates will be appointed for training in the order of their merit now that we have understood about the basic selection procedure let us also understand about what will be the training procedure after you getting recommended through all the process and if you are merit in you will have a one year of basic military training at ima at indian military academy previously this training used to be attended at ota gaya but now ota gaya's training has been disbanded and that training is shifted to ima so you will have one year military training at IMA. After that, you will have the three years of technical training at the College of Military Engineering at Pune, the Military College of Telecommunications and Engineering at Mao, and the Military College of Electronics and Mechanical Engineers at Secunderabad. After going through these four years of important training, after the post commission, you get commissioned and after post commission, you will have one more year training at the CMA Pune. MCTA Mao and MCEME in Sikandrabad. That is it about this particular important news and updates. Now that you are clear about the notification, I would like to remind you and urge you to download our mobile app wherein you will have numerous lectures that will keep up your preparation standards at a very good level. Irrespective of your study level and background, SSB crack exams has a detailed course structure and as instructors, we will personally guide you through this study journey. Our aim is to see you in uniform. If you trust in the success that you wish to attain in future, please join us. Have a great day. Most importantly, stay home, stay safe and Jai Hind.